Hi, I'm Rosie the Riveter, and I'm here to lay a few truth bombs on you and tell you what a true feminist is. While the 21st century feminist is running around with a vagina hat on her head and I had five abortions t-shirt and melting down because Roe versus Wade was overturned, I slaved away in a factory to support my family. I didn't have time to protest and ask for time to mourn for a court decision that I didn't like. I was too busy helping the men of this country win a war. I had babies at home I needed to feed, but I never complained about it or wish I didn't have them. I thanked God he blessed me with them every day. In fact, they pulled together to participate in rubber and metal drives. Their daddies, granddaddies, uncles, and brothers were overseas, trying to keep true communists and fascists from hitting our shores. They wanted to help in that effort too. Yet it never crossed our minds that our granddaughters and our great-granddaughters would be touting the same socialist propaganda. We were working so hard and sacrificing so much to stop. We happily marched into those factories, not because we believed we could do it on our own and we didn't need men, not because we were looking for a career and not because we were trying to prove ourselves. We were already doing that by taking care of our families, our homes, and our farms. We rolled up our sleeves because our country needed us and they needed our help to keep the economy going because our men needed us to give them what they required to win the war and our kids needed us to do what we could to bring their daddies home. When the war finally did end, we didn't insist on staying in the factories. We wanted to get back to our real job. Unfortunately, some women were forced to stay employed as the job of financially supporting their family also fell on their shoulders after losing their husbands. You know why you have time to protest, whine, and complain? because you don't know what true work and true freedom really is. You were coddled from birth, you enslaved yourself with massive debt, and then throw a temper tantrum when things get a little tough. You grab your smartphone and your $10 Starbucks coffee and a Panera Bread scone, and then tweet about how you are standing up to the machine by flooding social media with hashtags. You claim you are fighting for, against the fascist government, but then attack anyone who refuses to comply with mask and vaccine mandates. I took care of my husband and family. We lived where we wanted. We grew the food we wanted. We raised the animals we wanted to and answered to no one. That is freedom. Today's feminists are willing slaves to an ideology in a government. Good heavens, you don't even know what a woman is. And it's not working out for you, is it? Well, I saved the country once and it's time to do it again. I'm Rosie the Riveter and I'm suiting up and I'm going to work to save this country from communism once more. That's my two cents and it's worth a whole heck of a lot more than what you've been selling. However, but tell me what you think, leave your comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find all my videos along with more truths and facts in my liberating letters on thefactspaper.com, as well as hundreds of links to articles combating fake news and propaganda. Don't lose heart. We are winning. America will be great again. We can do it.